Hello everyone, and welcome back to the beaches of Sulani here in the Let's Build a Zoo! We're, okay, maybe our beach isn't very big yet, but don't worry, we are slowly but surely expanding it as more and more people come in to see all of our amazing coral reefs! Look at this, you guys! Oh my gosh, I totally cannot wait for us to be able to go ahead and have the lobster become a hybrid with some of the other creatures that we have already got the genetics and uh, have already discovered. But right now, it is time to celebrate because there's a mate for Stinky! Stinky the sea turtle is no longer going to be alone because the good news is... No, not the mega ship. Go away, mega ship. The good news is that we have a new female turtle available from none other than the sea warrior who it seems like we've been supporting them quite a bit so we've been gaining a lot of morality and i really want to see if we can provide them with more upgrades in just a second now that we have <clears throat> Well, you know, researcher Raymond has moved on to greener pastures. I like to imagine that perhaps he decided being a level 9 scientist wasn't really for him. And actually, he really wanted to go ahead and become a dog walker or something like that. Maybe a sand castle builder. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to go ahead and we are going to grab this turtle and we are going to add her in to the purple prickly point uh, tide pool or like purple prickle point. I'm trying to remember what we were going to call this place because that's where we have our sea urchin and we do need to go ahead and get a female sea urchin at some point, uh, which I think we were. Yeah. And the crisper, I'm pretty sure that's what we're trying to clone up. If we're able to actually clone it and it becomes a female remains yet to be seen, but hey, at least we'll have another sea urchin. And we also want to go ahead and snag that catfish that I saw <laughs> for our very first freshwater tank, which would be so much fun. I kind of want to be able to put that in a whole new area, but that's like 5,000 smackaroos that could be half of a new bus. So let's utilize this zone up here and let's put in, let's leave a little bit of space in case we can like fit a shop in here or something. But let's go ahead and we'll put in a long, uh, yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll go all the way back. We'll put in a nice long spot where we can have dun, 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 a freshwater zone for the catfish. Now we just need to make sure we go and snag that catfish before the day ends though. So got it. All right. So one male catfish. Ta-da! Add it on in! Yes! All right, so that's gonna be another new species that we can go ahead and celebrate having added in to our wonderful Sulani beaches. And that also means that we'll have the catfish genes to go ahead and mix with whatever animal genes we wish to at our laboratory facilities. Um, oh, and I probably do need to start thinking about a place to put the, the, the fish who are no longer wish upon a fish with us. <laughs> Uh, so we might actually want to think about expanding and making kind of like a private zone where the employees are the only ones who go in there and the guests don't get dragged in somehow. Like put a subway in and then like block it off with a bunch of decorative pieces so nobody sees where we have to go ahead and, and have the fishies. <laughs> Like, rest with the fishies. Um, that would be a good idea. And then I also think it would be a good idea to start getting in more shops. Oh, we did unlock the tropical juice! <gasps> Why have I not added that in yet? I'm sure that that would be super popular. So, we're gonna put that in. Oh my gosh, Edward. We're gonna maybe... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ocean plastic disposal. Ocean pollution. Are you one to save the oceans or destroy them? The fate of the sea lies in your hands as you can decide whether to dump plastics in the ocean or develop plastic eating bacteria to clean them up. Based on the morality route you choose, you can build either the plastic dump or the bacteria farm and look at how you can end up changing the world. <gasps> okay, clearly we're building the bacteria farm. Um, I wonder if we unlocked the ability to think about that because we have enough shops now. Also, Edward, <laughs> We're going to go ahead and gently exit Abu, you, because he literally doesn't want to work here. I think that he was like throwing coconuts at people. And we'll see if anybody wants to come and become the Tropical Juice patron. And then let's check the world. Oh no! <gasps> so the ocean's polluted and we can either make it better or we can make it worse depending on what we decide to do. Oh my gosh, that's what that meant. You guys, we need to work with researcher Darwin to get this bacteria farm ASAP. 
Oh, and we need to have 80 morality to do that? All right, we need to be releasing more animals into the wild. Well, actually, I guess we haven't released any animals into the wild just yet, but we're gonna see if we can work on that. Oh, ooh, ooh, we'll get the wind turbine. Yes, all right, so the wind turbine should help. <gasps> and that got a fishing boat upgrade so we can catch more fish per day, woo! And then we also can get the water tower to collect water eco uh, ecologically and avoid paying the local water company. So if we do that, that would actually help out. Oh my gosh, and there's the researcher pack bonus! Yes! Darwin, we're gonna hire you a friend! And there's more float packs for the animals. Oh, hey! The zoo goes off the grid. A spokesperson for the zoo was excited to announce a partnership with Wind Power Inc. to undertake construction of green energy facilities at the zoo. The local power station conglomerate CEO had this to say, We do not approve of people generating their own power and not buying it from us. That's because executives like me earn millions of dollars every year for doing nothing much. And this threatens my decent way, my decadent way of life. Sure, we warm up the planet, but people love warm weather. The zoo plans to begin construction of their own power generators in the near future. Jeez, just like strong army into hurrying that up, but oh, don't you? What's going on here? Boomfish, anti-explosive fishing opportunity. We have a blast fishing problem in our province and I don't know where else to turn. Okay, Giselle. Uh, we are a very religious group of people, and I have decided that if I practice religious place religious effigies in the seabed, it will make our fishermen less likely to continue this terrible practice. I suppose? Maybe? Blast- Whoa! Blast fish down by 90%! Oh my gosh. A sea camera captured this proof of the effectiveness of Giselle's statues as the sea teemed with life and no signs of explosion. That's so cute! And look at the whale shark! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for us to be able to get a whale shark. That's gonna be so much fun. And also, is that a blue lobster? Hey now, that sounds like a variation. Or maybe it's like a, a crawfish? We'll have to see. Uh, so, let's see, let's see. Blast fishing down by 90%. Mayor Gisela has managed to reduce blast fishing in her province by 90% with her unique approach of dropping effigies into the ocean to deter the barbaric practice of dynamite fishing. When an explosion occurs, the shock waves rupture the swim bladders of all nearby fish, causing some of them to float to the surface for collection. Oh no, is that how that works? That's so sad. However, most sink to the bottom and lie dead among the devastated coral around them. Their tourism has also risen exponentially, resulting in people giving more praise to Gisela for her in innovative ideas to not only save the fishes from useless deaths, but also improve the town's economy. Creative thinking! And also the power of, like, social media, probably. Oh, good, and we have a new applicant who wants to come. Hello, Raphael. Your work ethic's very low, but your experience is very high. Let me wait and see if anyone else is gonna apply, my friend. <laughs> But all right, so now we can also hire a new researcher too, which would be fantastic since that would allow us to go ahead and get even more research done. Darwin definitely needs a buddy, so we'll see what we can pull off over there. Uh, and then otherwise, ooh, in just a second, we'll find out if we have a male or female sea urchin and we might go ahead and think about what kind of curious crossbreed we should create next. Do I have my, okay. In three hours, we will have our catfish too. Hmm. Do I wanna put another one of the little terrarium stores over here or something? Maybe another like, we don't really have enough food spots, so I need to work on that. Uh, we could put, I guess we should put some seal bins just to get started, just so that we know when it's time, people will have like a place to go. They'll be able to put their trash away, I guess. One here. One there. Oh dear, that's not equal and it's gonna drive me batty. All right, that's what we get for just, you know, if you always avoid doing things symmetrically, <laughs> you never run into the problem of it looking absolutely wonky donkey. Uh, also, let's see. If I was gonna put more decorations in. Ooh, I haven't put the aquarium statue in yet. Or this like big uh, octo statue. I think that could be fun like over here and we could add in rocks and things. But there's a ton of people there right now, so I feel a little awkward just like eating them. All right, let's do... Let's move this trash bin, like so. And then why don't we put down more of those amazing um, like aquarium arches? Like I'm truly and utterly in love with these aquarium arches. They're so cool. <laughs> How could you not just absolutely love them? All right, let's see. Oh, and I guess we need to put in like lights and stuff at some point. Oh yeah. 
so that people can kind of see like where they're going. And that makes people stay when it gets darker. I forgot about that whole part of this. <laughs> and we do have the cute little trident lamps that we could put down here and there too. Gosh, there's a lot that we could just like have quite a bit of fun poking, but I guess I've been holding off on decorating and doing too much until we're able to, you know, afford a few more spots where uh, we can invite guests to carry on. And okay, oh, those are the staff entrances. I forgot about staff entrances. In fact, I don't even think I know much about staff entrances. Wait a second. Ooh, a new applicant and tropical juice. All right. Oh, there's seven applicants. Oh my good gravy. Uh, Lowell, 25, but low. Okay, 17, 22, high work ethic. We might hire her. John, 25, politeness. Ha oh, ha, welcome. All right, we'll hire him because it seems like he's happy to be here. And I just want people to be happy. Oh, and we have a new applicant at the research hub. All right, so we have Allegra, who's level 18. <laughs> no, no, thank you, Allegra. And Molly, level 16. We'll hold out for a little while and just wait and see what we managed to snag. Oop, and there we go. Everybody's headed on out now. <gasps> oh, and we have our, we have our, our catfish. Oh my gosh, his name is King. King the catfish, that just sounds so freaking cool. All right, we definitely need to give him his own little like uh, his own little enrichment items. So let's put down the green balls maybe. And like an actual yellow ducky. Hmm. And I need to get more decoration or like more decorations. I need to get more things for all of the animals to enjoy basically. But for now we can put down a few mossy rocks, which seems quite fitting. There we go. And even long grass, which also seems pretty cool and fitting. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so much fun. And hopefully that won't block him too much, but I thought that would be nice. And then even some small rocks as additional decoration. And I love that because I, I wish that there was a way, I don't think the animals really care, <laughs> but I wish there was a way you could see like, oh, if the animal like really enjoys having I, the stacked rock looks kind of cool, to be honest. We'll put one right over here. But the, like, I wish there was a way you could see if the animals really enjoy having like a more decorated exhibit. Actually, these stacked rocks do look kind of cool. I know this filled out the exhibit a lot, but I think that we'll be happy for it. I think I'll put this stacked rock right there. There we go. What do you think, King? We really, we really kind of enhanced your area, and now I can say you absolutely do look like the king of the catfish. Excellent. All right, so <laughs> it's a new day, which means, oh, geez, this place is so messy, which means we'll check in. We can now get a male sea turtle, another one if we wanted to. I, I mean, for $26, might as well go ahead and rescue the poor thing. We'll add it on in here where we now have Tinky to go with Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> our sea turtle which is quite fun new applicant at the research hub let's see let's see so we have carl bad work ethic but level 29 and uh, ethel bad work ethic but level 29 um we're gonna keep waiting just a little bit longer but molly it looks like you might get hired and trained up pretty soon ah oh, friends oh my goodness Oh, and the sea urchin is done. So let's go ahead and collect it. Is it a male or female? Let us find out. So there's Noel, and now they're dropping in the our very first clone here in the Sulani beaches. And it is na 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 na. Let's go ahead and see. Is it? It's a female, yes! This is Tabby, the female sea urchin, who we definitely need to give a better diet to in just a second here. And sea urchins tend to eat coral, but they will eat pretty much anything that they happen to walk over, which is how there was a huge problem after so many otters were hunted off of the west coast uh, quite a while ago, that the otters who eat sea urchins were removed. And so the sea urchin populations went absolutely bonkers. And there were so many of them that when they would go over those beautiful kelp forests that grow off of the west coast of the United States, they would just eat the entire kelp forest. And that just caused a complete collapse of that area. So they need to be kept in balance by otters. But I wonder, 
Do we have sea otters? Do we have them in the main area of our zoo? Or do we have them in aquatic? I'm going to need to give that a little bit of thought because I actually don't know the answer there. All right. So now that we have gone ahead and we have mixed and matched uh, the DNA enough to get ourselves a lovely sea urchin, what should we mix together now, friends? I am pretty excited about this. There are so many options. <laughs> Oh, let's make a sunfish sea urchin. I want to see what that looks like because what if it looks like a giant just like moving prickle ball? That just sounds really fun to see. All right, so we'll go ahead and study that one to get our 10 hybrid fishies that, that we're trying to get to. Um, and then let's see about anybody who's applied. Bui, level 29, very bad work ethic. Level 20 and decent work ethic. You know, oh, hello, Duke Van Hedel, the sincerest form of flattery. Hey there, I was King Sapphire's biggest fan. It's so sad what happened to him, but he inspired me to form an extreme metal band, Sea of Death. Out of respect for the king, could you invest, uh, could you invest in helping me release my new album? I mean, I guess? I, I really would prefer to keep my, my monies more often, but I, I, oh, now we get two, oh my gosh. <gasps> Piranha! Oh, why? Another one of the species that we are not going to be able to do anything with yet because the the evil trawler is the one who caught the piranhas. <sighs> we'll get there eventually, friends. Don't you worry. Also, holy moly. So I guess what happened just then... Uh, uh, level 20... 29... 22... Decent work ethic... Mm. You know what? You know what, Luster? You know what, Thu? Thu, can I? Okay, look. Let's go for who has the highest work ethic right now? Aline? Aline does. Let's just hire Aline. <laughs> Level 22 is better than nothing, and that will help get our research really going. Woo! But all right, guys. So it sounds like we've started a death metal fish band. Uh, we also have, in a couple more hours here, another one of the hybrid creatures that we have created. And we are managing to. Um, to have to take a stance in the fact that the whole ocean is now terribly, terribly polluted and we need to do something to fix that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rescue both of these guys out of those polluted waters. In you go, my dears. And I think that we're starting to have a pretty good pace. Also, did we have a sunfish baby? I think oh, we had a sunfish baby with Edsel! How exciting! Considering that sunfish are said to have somewhere around 300 million eggs per female, at least one of these ones was able to make it to adulthood. <laughs> but alright, so let's see. Oh no. <gasps> Maya! Maya the clownfish has passed away in old age! Oh friends. Oh dear. The time has come. We need to have our secret sleeps with the fishes farm where we will have our little incinerator and we will start putting in like wind power turbines and all sorts of other bits and bobs so that we can have a secret base for our sea animals where we will prove that we can go ahead and do our best to um, hopefully, hopefully prevent prevent this, these tragedies, these tragedies, you might say, from carrying on. Now, I need to go see if my husband just flinched from all of the puns that I have put into the other side of our house. And uh, when we come back, we will carry on with more of our crossbreeding and more collecting of the different sea animals next time. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like to help us pluck some of that terrible, terrible pollution out of the ocean. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye